All right, next up is the bridge forward, ready to eat sandwiches. I haven't had the sandwiches before, but I've had the wraps, which is pretty much the same ingredients, but with the tortilla on the outside. And those are really good. There's two, there's two sandwiches in this package. I'm gonna eat one cold and see how it is. I'm gonna eat one warm. I haven't eaten one warm yet. And the only one I had was uh, cold. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Here's the nutrition information. It's got a shelf life. It's got a shelf life of 2020. So it stays good for about three years to this date, a little under three years. Here are the directions. Sandwich. Sandwich was designed to be eaten straight from the pouch. However, it can also be eaten via one of the following methods. As is, tear it open, eat it, MRE flameless heater, boiling water, microwave, toaster oven. You can go ahead and pause the camera on those options. Today, we're gonna go ahead and do the boiling water option. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Oop. Got this, uh, there you go. So inside you have two MRE looking, MRE style pouches. So I'm gonna go ahead and open one up and eat one while the other, while the water is boiling. So to immerse this in boiling water, I don't think I can use the original packaging. I think the water's gonna melt through this plastic. So I'm not quite sure how I want to heat this up. I might have to go get a pan real quick. But I'll try to put some boiling water in here and see how it goes. All right, I put a little bit of water in there and it seems to be doing fine. So go ahead and throw this in there. Then we'll add the rest of the boiling water. Hopefully this is enough. There we go. And I really have no way of sealing this, unfortunately. Let's just hope it stays right there. Sure. While that's heating up, let's go ahead and tear into this guy. So, got a nice protective layer in there. Got a uh, disposable oxide patch, I'm guessing. Yep, do not eat. This is what you got. Smells like barbecue sauce. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Kind of tastes like a beer. I get the, like at the back of my throat, it tastes like I just, drink a beer. I don't know if they got some preservative or chemical on it, but that's what it tastes like. And I got a lot of bread at the first bite, not very much uh, meat. Yeah, it's all bread right there, which is okay. You need that when you're trying to hike and stuff. But as you can see, it's a thin layer of barbecue sauce. Go ahead and take another bite of that. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Little chunks of uh, meat in there. You can see one right there. They're a little hard. Maybe hard is the wrong word. Chewy, they're a little chewy. But not bad. I don't know how I feel about the bread. It's slightly doughy when you put it in your mouth. <coughs> it kind of turns to a dough in your mouth, which isn't bad. I could see myself eating this as a snack while I'm walking if I didn't want to warm it up. I'm curious to see what the warm one looks tastes like but it's definitely interesting i think i like the tortilla better than the sandwich let's see what that one tastes like all right it's been six minutes let's go ahead and 
Take this guy out. Feels warm enough. Let's go ahead and tear it into this. It is warm. It's definitely warm. Doesn't look any different. See how it tastes. Pretty much the same. I don't know if it got all the way in the middle. Let me go microwave this real quick. All right, so I went and threw it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. It's nice and warm now. As you can see, it's a little bit more, not gooey at all, actually. It's a little bit more um, squishy, though. Ooh, that's hot. Let's go ahead and take a bite. You can definitely taste a little bit more of the barbecue. You can't really taste the meat too much, but you can taste it. It's a little bit sweeter. Um, it definitely tastes better warm. But I have nothing against it being cold. Um, in terms of uh, flavor choice, I probably would choose something different. Um, it's not bad, but it's not good either. It's tolerable, given the situation, as like a, a prepper or like a, in, throw it in your glove compartment for a rainy day if you get stuck or a snowy day if you get stuck. Car won't start or something. Um, definitely worth it. They're, um, I believe these are about four or five, six dollars, depending on which one you get. But um, I'd definitely buy them again if I was going hiking. I'd just buy the tortilla ones and probably the Italian sausage one. So overall, thumbs up, I guess. I'm not completely wild about them though, but definitely worth checking out. Bridgeford beef with barbecue sauce. Wouldn't, wouldn't recommend the beef with barbecue sauce. Try the Italian sausage. All right, guys. Just do one last taste test of everything. <clears throat> As you can see, the mountain house kind of solidified a little bit more. All the water's gone. I would still just like a little bit more flavor from the mountain house. It's there. It's just not what I would personally like. Go to the Alpine Air. Oh yeah. Way better flavor. Way better flavor. And honestly this, I don't want to take another bite of it. Just because I don't want to ruin the flavor of that. Nothing really against it, just not, not feeling it. So overall, less flavor, but cheaper. And they have a wide variety of flavors. A really wide variety. Maybe you'll find one you like, one you fall in love with. They have a lot of different varieties. I'm pretty sure they have uh, vegetarian options too. And they go for about four, five, six, seven, four to ten dollars depending. If you get the desserts or some of the, um, or some of the breakfasts, or some of the breakfast is around four to six dollars. Dinners and lunch, five to ten. Alpine Air, amazing taste compared to Mountain House, but it's also a little bit more expensive. <clears throat> this is the one serving, this is the two serving. One serving, this was about six dollars. For the two serving, I think it was about eight to nine dollars I believe uh, they had one servings too with certain packs they were about six to seven and then the bridge Ford sandwiches and wraps they go for around four to five six dollars usually around five dollar range but overall the Alpine air by far had the best flavor out of all of these 
Like I said, I'm going to get the Backpackers Pantry and compare that to this. I think this is going to give the Backpackers Pantry a run for its money. But that's it for today, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a comment and a like below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. There are plenty of MRE-style freeze-dried foods out there that I'm more than happy to try. But that's it for today, guys. Have a good night.